Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're playing Fate Hunters. This is a deck building roguelike game that's just come out of early access. So it is in version 1.0 on Steam. It's made by Tower Games. Uh, I've played a bit of it and I've really enjoyed it. So I did want to share it with you guys. Basically it's a lot like Slay the Spire and that type of game. So you'll see as we play. It's got a number of different classes. I think there's five in total. But I haven't unlocked them yet because you have to spend the gold that you get on unlocking characters. So we're going to do the Inquisitor. And... You can also, as you play, you can unlock more cards to put in your starter deck. I obviously haven't done that yet. I could do that, but I think I'll save the money to try and unlock a, a new class. Because collecting money is quite difficult. And I'll explain why later. So it works very similarly to um, other games that I've played like this and Slay the Spire. Except there's no mana cost, so you can spend as much mana as you... All the cards in your hand you can play if you want to. So these cards are just deal 1 damage. This is deal 2 damage, draw a card, so that's pretty decent. Uh, these are the enemies, you have to kill each um, each encounter. So there's 3 health, 2 attack, 7 health, 2 attack. So let's just get rid of this 3 health one. This card has critical strike, and critical strike just means it's got a 25% chance to do double damage. Which that just did actually. This is a healing potion, it's got one use, which means if I use it once, it disappears forever from my deck, so I'm not going to use it right now. This is our health down here, 18, down to 16. Alright, so let's just get rid of this too. So after you um, beat an enemy, you can pick up a card. I'm not going to take this one, it's a goblin one. Enchanted, deal 3 damage to a random creature, and I think enchanted means when discarding a card on your turn. I haven't got any discard mechanics yet, so I'm going to skip that. There's also in this game a leveling leveling system. So we just leveled up to level 2, which gives us a skill card as a reward. Draw one card, you lose one HP. Last word, draw two cards. Last word is if it's the last card in your hand, then you get that extra effect. Silence all non-boss creatures. I think I'll take that. I can. This is a repeatable heal, so I'm going to use this too before we leave, and then we can just go to the next room. So you have to beat a number of low-level enemies, and then each level, we're on level 1 obviously, as a boss, and after you beat that boss, you can decide to leave with your gold or continue to the next level and try and get a higher multiplier on your gold and also gain more gold. So what I've done so far in my first three hours of play is just keep going because I'm greedy. And then eventually just dying, and if you die, then you take no gold back with you. Right, let's get rid of this dude. But I'm having a lot of fun with the game. I think it's pretty good. It's got a lot in common with um, Slay the Spire, etc. Right, Belt. Look at the top two cards. Discard one. Uh, yeah, we want the critical strike. Um, deal 3 damage if your creature, if your deck has 15, draw a card. Okay, well that's deal 3 damage, that's quite good. And a potion 1 use to gain 5 experience, I'll take that. The other thing is, when you collect gold, it counts as a card and goes into your deck. So when you draw it, it's kind of like a curse, because you can't play it. So, you have to, there's a bit of a trade-off as to how much sort of gold you should pick up. I'm going to be taking 3 damage here, but that's okay. I don't want to use this potion too early. We'll get the opportunity to get more potions later on. Alright, we leveled up again. Now oh, we take the trophy first. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, they don't want to give me the... I don't want too many healing potions, because like if we draw two of them in one turn, that's really bad. Lucky coin, one use treasure, draw two cards. Okay, so this is an example of a treasure card. So it gives us five gold if we leave the dungeon with it, but if we use it and spend it, we can draw two cards. So I think that's quite a good one. I'm not going to take either of those. I don't like them. Let's level up. Discard a card of this treasure card, restore 4 HP. 
The weapon card deals two damage to all creatures. If you discard another card, draw a card. That's really good if we get some discard synergies. Deal 12 damage to a creature and restore 4 damage to your hero. What? Seriously? Deal 12 damage to a creature and 4 damage to your hero. Hmm. That could be quite good. I think I'm going to take that one though. Normal room or easy? Let's go to a normal room. We want better loot. Okay. Uh, so let's use the experience potion. So that gives us experience. You see what I mean by it's kind of like a curse because it means we've got one less card to play. Let's deal three damage. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Ah. Okay, I'm going to take the coin. Let's reduce the attack of all minions by one. I don't think I'm going to use this right now. We're only going to take four damage. And we've got a potion to heal. Let's heal. Level up again. One use, restore 2 HP and exile all wounds. So exile is basically destroy cards from your deck and wounds are curses. Um, so this can be quite good if you... Because you can get cards that put curses into your own deck. Last word, deal 6 damage to a creature. So that's quite nice. This guy a card of this treasure card. Oh yeah. I might take this one. Restore 2 HP. This turn, last word is always activated. So to repeat, last word is activated when it's your last card in your hand and you play it. But if we play this first, any last word effect will work. So maybe that's worth having in my deck and we can pick up some more last word effects. This bow's quite good. But once our deck gets above 15, it's not so good I suppose. Banish all non-boss creatures with one or less attack. <laughs> Banish is just basically destroy. Alright, so we take the experience potion. Deal one damage to a creature. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the healing potion as well. I'm a little bit worried we we haven't got enough damage cards at the moment. I've got too many item cards. Oh, I've got to discard a card. Okay, let's discard. Let's discard the healing. So here's effect, whenever this creature attacks, discard a card from your hand. And fast basically just means charge, so he attacks before me. Uh, so we need to get rid of that dude. Restore 2 H, okay. Banish on with one or less attack. Yeah, okay, so he's got three. Have we got more than 15 cards? No. And we couldn't quite kill him. A loot bag. Add one random item card to your hand, okay. One use gain shield, that's good. So shield is just divine shield, basically. First time you take a damage, it's negated. Are we gonna fight the boss now? I think we might do. Right, so this is the first boss. At the start of your turn, spawn two random creatures. Okay. He's got 23 health. Let's draw first. Hmm. Silence all non-boss creatures with three or less attack. Well, they don't need silencing. Deal three damage to a creature. If it's a boss, deal five additional damage. Choose an adventure. 
Restore 2 HP, draw 2 additional cards. Oh, that's really good. But these are all awesome, actually. Choose an adventure, like, uh, I've used this once before, and it gives you options of things you can do. Some are bad and some are good. Like, some can be healing, some can be take damage for yourself. Um, I think I'm going to take this one. All of them would be awesome. Uh, this is awesome, actually. So we can do this. And then last word, banish all non-boss creatures with two or less attack. See you later. This is the loot bag. Treasure. Draw a card, then draw one additional card for each treasure in your deck. You cannot draw additional cards this turn. Oh, this isn't even one use. That's quite awesome. Oh, I should have played that first. Yeah. Wasn't paying attention to that. Activate the shield as well. damage and one to adjacent ones. I think we've got enough healing that I can literally just kill him. Or try to. We will have to kill the others afterwards. But... Hmm. Time to use the healing potion. You're taking up quite a lot of damage now. Don't know how many minions makes the board full. I don't know if you can summon any more, to be honest. Yeah, you can't. I said it started this turn, so it does. Last word banish all non boss creatures with two or less attack. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> See you later. Let's draw. Nice, he's dead. Okay, so that's level one down. Let's deal two damage to a creature. Return a weapon card from the discard pile to your hand. That sounds pretty good. One you steal four damage. That's also good. And we'll take a loot back too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that. So, right, we've finished the first level now, and now we get to spend five fate points. And you can spend it on various different power-ups. For example, increase our HP, max HP by two. Um, but restore four HP, so that'll be six for us. Exile cards from our deck. But I think we're going to do, do this. This is um, cost three uh, fate points. Choose a tarot card, which is basically a passive ability. Um... If you don't play a weapon card during your turn, draw one more card next turn. If you don't play a skill card during your turn, at the end of Alright. I don't know the cards well enough to pick that one, to be honest. If your cards deal random damage, it always deals its maximum da damage. Increase critical strike chance by up to 50%. Okay, that sounds very good. When you discard a treasure card from your hand, you get a token. When you get nine tokens, they are removed, and your maximum HP is increased by one, maximum up to five. Okay, well, we don't have enough discard synergies, do we? So let's take this. We don't... We've got a couple of random ones. So now we've got two fate points left. We can either heal to full HP or exile a card from your deck. Uh, let's just heal. I don't have any curses in my deck yet. So now we get the option. I can leave with 15 gold. Or we can continue. So obviously I'm going to continue. But I keep doing this and then die. And then you go home with nothing. So it's trying to pick the right time to leave is quite difficult, I find. Reduce attack of a non-boss creature by 2. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not going to 
use that on these dudes. They're not doing much damage to me. Deal one damage, draw a card, and then just... Yeah, I'm going to take that. That's quite good if we need to get rid of treasures in our hand so that we can do last word effects. Discard card again. Um, probably this. Last word is always activated. So we can just banish him instantly. Nice. We have quite a lot of good healing. Just banish him as well. <laughs> that worked out quite well. Uh, I'm not going to take a potion. I think we've got enough healing. Mm, maybe not. Whenever this... Whenever this creature attacks, exile the top... Okay, so exile means it leaves my deck forever. So I really want to kill him. Whenever this creature attacks, add a curse card to the draw pile. Okay, that's also really bad. Can we kill them? I can kill them this turn, I think. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> mm. Hard room, mystery room. Let's go to a mystery room. Upgrade your... Oh, yes. So we can spend gold now to upgrade um, a weapon, which I'm going to do because this is only five gold. I'm not going to get rid of this one because this one's good. Draws card, then draw one additional for each treasure. So... I'm going to spend this because it's only five cut gold. And then we can upgrade one of these. So I think we upgrade the... Deal four damage to your creature. If you... Okay, so that's just four. This goes up to three, but critical strike could be doubled to six then, which I think is the best one. And this is also quite good. Deal two damage to a creature and then two to ad ad adjacent ones as well. I'm going to do the critical strike though. And we'll keep the pot of greed. I think that card's very good. It'd be better when we add more treasures to our deck. <laughs> we can't find any. Silence or... Yeah. Oh my god. This card's so good. Just activate the last word and just kill the whole board. Okay, so this is a treasure and a sword, so we'll get five treasure and deal one to two damage. And we've got the effect that uh, means that always deals two. I don't think I'm going to take the tower shield though. Draw one fewer card. No. Divine shield's good, but you draw one fewer card. We'll skip that. Deal six damage to a creature with two or less attack. Sounds good to me. There's quite a lot of low attack, like this dude. I think our deck's pretty powerful right now. Choose a card to discard the healing. Now we can put the weapon back in our hand. Let's do the dagger though, because... Six damage. Oh, I don't want healing potions. They just slow my deck down. Reduce attack of an okay. Last word draw a card as well. Can we do that? Oh last word's always activated. Perfect.
I didn't want to silence there because I don't know whether that then means he gets his two attack back. Store 4 HP, you can't play this card from your hand. Okay, so it has to be discarded. Let's just take another dagger. Hard room. Let's go to a hard room. Strong monsters and good loot. Oh, we just need the cut. Silence all non boss creatures with. Oh my god, this is awesome. It just silences them all completely. So they can't. Exile cards. Which one do we want to kill? Just any of them. Twenty-five tr gold. Okay, I'm going to take all of these because I'm greedy. <laughs> Those two are, we'll get rid of when we draw them, obviously. Uh, and twenty-five gold—that's huge. Oh, is this the boss now? Can't be stunned and the attack can't be reduced. Okay, but we can do crits to him. Yeah. Wasn't the best turn, was it really? Alright, so we draw first, we do this last. What do I want back in my hand? Dagger plus one, yes. Six, nice. Put the critical strike. Oh no, we just. Ah, oh, that's a shame. We'll discard this. This is gonna be close. Unless we draw some more healing. Not a good turn. Oh, come on, we can't die here. Oh no. No! I got too greedy. Shackles is amazing. Um. No, I need healing! No! That divine shield will come in handy. Oh man. That was so close. <sighs> anyway. So hopefully you guys got the idea of what the game's like. I'm really enjoying it. I'm I get too greedy. I should have left at the end of the floor just to get Well, I was probably gonna leave after that boss. And then we would have got a lot of gold. Um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I'm going to play some more of it because I do really like it. So um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.